Hi everyone! Welcome or welcome back to the channel. Self-care and meal prep have definitely played a vital role in mitigating most of the morning madness, especially now that school is back in session. On the self-care front, I've really been enjoying incorporating the Premium Jane CBD oil into my daily routine. I go for the highest strength, 5,000 milligrams of CBD oil in their peach nectar flavor. I've been enjoying that AM and PM for an around the clock set of support. I enjoy the gentle calming effects of the CBD oil, plus it's brain boosting benefits thanks to its cannabinoid content, plus it's another added form of healthy fat. I'll have more information about the oil and a special discount code that you guys can use to save in the description box below. I've had my eye on the King Arthur Keto Muffin Mix for a bit and it definitely came out beautifully and I just made the base recipe and added one cup of fresh blueberries If you're here and still paying attention, comment self-care below if you're taking more time to rest, regroup, and look after yourself as you care for others. It's super vital. All you need is eggs and oil to throw together the base recipe. I decided to add in one cup of fresh blueberries to the mix, but you can go ahead and add whichever fruits or additions and enhancements that you prefer. I'll be sure to go ahead and leave a link for the recipes or information related to products used in any of the recipes featured in the description box below. I noticed this new bread, it may not be new, but it was new to me by the brand Schmidt, their 647 bread. It's only got six grams net carbs for their white style bread. And I've got to tell you guys that this white bread is the closest to traditional white bread I've tried in all the years that I've been sampling store bought keto friendly breads. I'm sure many of you are missing hash browns and home fries on keto and this recipe comes in perfectly in a pinch. You won't skip a beat or miss a thing. My grandmother used to make all kinds of fritters when I was young growing up. She'd make sweet pumpkin fritters and zucchini fritters and I'm kind of modeling this off of a recipe that she used to make that I absolutely love.
Plus, these fritters pair perfectly with the poached egg that we'll make later on in the video. We're gonna make a really simple, perfectly poached egg. I love recipes like this chocolate chia pudding that I can easily parcel out exactly the way I'd want to eat them ahead of time so that I have four, five, six servings all set up and ready to go in the refrigerator and can just grab them and eat them throughout the week at will, easy as can be. It really helps to keep me on track effortlessly. Go ahead and add a cap of white vinegar to your water. You'll want to bring your water to a simmering boil, not a violent boil, just a light simmering boil over a medium heat. Then go ahead and create a swirl, like a vortex in the water. And then once you get that going, you're gonna just go ahead and drop your egg gently into that warm water and the swirling of the water is gonna help seal and create a little pocket around the egg for it to poach in. 
And again, a poached egg definitely pairs perfectly with these zucchini fritters. I think you're definitely going to enjoy them together. And if you found value in this video and want to help keep the flowers fresh and the coffee hot, you can go ahead and check the links in the description box below of different ways that you can support the channel through Ko-fi or other links. Any of the affiliate links that you use to buy products to make the recipes in the video all help support the channel and help me keep bringing you recipes to make your keto journey to weight loss a breeze.